Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, initiated reforms to promote higher education, science, and technology in India. The Indian Institutes of Technology a Euro conceived by a 22-member committee of scholars and entrepreneurs in order to promote technical education a Euro was inaugurated on August 18, 1951 at Kharagpur in West Bengal by the Minister of Education Molen and Abel Kalamazad. More IITs were soon opened in Bombay, Madras, Kanpur and Delhi as well in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Beginning in the 1960s, close ties with the Soviet Union enabled the Indian Space Research Organization to rapidly develop the Indian space program and advance nuclear power in India even after the first nuclear test explosion by India on May 18, 1974 at Pokhran. India accounts for about 10% of all expenditure on research and development in Asia and the number of scientific publications grew by 45% over the past five years. However, according to India's Science and Technology Minister, Kapil Shaibal, India is lagging in science and technology compared to developed countries. India has only 140 researchers per 1 million population, compared to 4,651 in the United States. India invested 3.7 billion US dollars in science and technology in 2002 a Euro 2003. For comparison, China invested about four times more than India, while the United States invested approximately 75 times more than India on science and technology. Despite this, five Indian Institutes of Technology were listed among the top 10 science and technology schools in Asia by SEA Week. One study argued that Indian science did not suffer from lack of funds but from unethical practices, the urge to make illegal money, misuse of power, frivolous publications and patents, faulty promotion policies, victimization for speaking against wrong or corrupt practices in the management, sycophancy, and brain drain. However, the number of publications by Indian scientists is characterized by some of the fastest growth rates among major countries. India together with China, Iran, South Africa and Brazil are the only developing countries among 31 nations with 97.5% of the world's total scientific productivity. The remaining 162 developing countries contribute less than 2.5%. 1947 a Euro 1967 Jawaharlal Nehru aimed to convert India Euro unregistered trademark S economy into that of a modern state and to fit her into the nuclear age and do it quickly. Nehru understood that India had not been at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution, and hence made an effort to promote higher education, and science and technology in India. Nehru's planning commission fixed investment levels, prescribed priorities, divided funds between agriculture and industry, and divided resources between the state and the federal governments. The result of the efforts between 1947 and Euro 1962 saw the area under irrigation increase by 45 million acres, food production rise by 34 million metric tons, installed power generating capacity increase by 79 million kilowatts, and an overall increase of 94% in industrial production. The enormous population rise, however, would balance the gains made by Nehru. The economically beleaguered country was nevertheless able to build a large scientific workforce, second in numbers only to that of the United States and the Soviet Union. Education a Euro provided by the government of India Euro was free and compulsory up to the age of 14. More emphasis was paid to the enhancement of vocational and technical skills. J.P. Nick, member secretary of the Indian Education Commission, commented on the educational policies of the time. On August 18, 1951 the Minister of Education Molen and Abel Kalamazad, inaugurated the Indian Institute of Technology at Kharagpur in West Bengal. Possibly modelled after the Massachusetts Institute of Technology these institutions were conceived by a 22-member committee of scholars and entrepreneurs under the chairmanship of Enasaka. The Sino-Indian War came as a rude awakening to Nehru's military preparedness. Military cooperation with the Soviet Union a Euro partially aimed at developing advanced military technology a Euro was pursued during the coming years. Defense Research and Development Organization was formed in 1958. Radio broadcasting was initiated in 1927 but became state responsibility only in 1930. 
1937 it was given the name All India Radio and since 1957 it has been called Akash Bani. Limited duration of television programming began in 1959, and complete broadcasting followed in 1965. The Indian government acquired the EVSM computers from the Soviet Union, which were used in large companies and research laboratories. Tata Consultancy Services a Euro established in 1968 by the Tata Group a Euro were the country's largest software producers during the 1960s. 1967 a Euro 1987, the roots of nuclear power in India lie an early acquisition of nuclear reactor technology from a number of Western countries, particularly the American support for the Tarapur Atomic Power Station and Canada's CANDU reactors. The peaceful policies of Mohandas Karamkand Gandhi may have delayed the inception of nuclear technology in India. Stanley Walpert describes the measures taken by the Indian government to increase agricultural output. The Indian space program received only financial support from the Soviet Union, which helped the Indian Space Research Organization achieve aims such as establishing the Thumbi Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, launching remote sensing satellites. Developing India Euro unregistered trademark S first satellite Euro or Yabhaka, and sending astronauts into the space. India sustained its nuclear program during the aftermath of Operation Smiling Buddha Euro India's first nuclear tests. Though the roots of the Steel Authority of India Limited lie in Hindustan Steel Private Limited, the events leading up to the formation of the modern avatar are described below, in 1981. The Indian Antarctic program was started when the first Indian expedition was flagged off for Antarctica from Goa. More missions were subsequently sent each year to India's based action Gangatri. 1987 A Euro Present Indian agriculture benefited from the developments made in the fields of biotechnology, for which a separate department was created in 1986 under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Both the Indian private sector and the government have invested in the medical and agricultural applications of biotechnology. Massive biotech parks were established in India while the government provided tax deduction for research and development under biotechnological firms. The Indian economy underwent economic reforms in 1991, leading to a new era of globalization and international economic integration. Economic growth of over 6% annually was seen between 1993 Euro 2002. Same year a new permanent Antarctic base Manitri was founded and continues to remain in operation till date. On June 25, 2002 India and the European Union agreed to bilateral cooperation in the field of science and technology. A joint EU-India group of scholars was formed on November 23, 2001 to further promote joint research and development. India holds observer status at CERN while a joint India-EU software education and development centre is due at Bangalore. Certain scientists and activists, such as MIT systems scientist Dr. V. A. Shiva Anadurai, blame cost for holding back innovation and scientific research in India, making it difficult to sustain progress while regressive social organisation prevails. In addition, Corruption and inefficiencies in the research sector and have resulted in corruption scandals and undermine innovation initiatives. See also, Science and Engineering Research Board, Notes. References, Alexander, Steve. E-Commerce Encyclopedia Britannica 2008. Desai, Ashok 5 Information and Other Technology Development in Encyclopedia of India. Edited by Stanley Wolper 269 Euro 273. Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31351-0. Ketka, Prafula. European Union, Relations with an Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 48 Euro 51. Thompson Gale. ISBN 0-684-31351-0. Khan, Sultanat Esha. Russia, Relations with an Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 419 Euro 422. Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31352-9. Nanda, Bionaru, Jawaharlal in Encyclopedia of India. Edited by Stanley Wolpert 222 a Euro 227. 
Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31352-9. Prabhu, Joseph. Institutions and Philosophies, Traditional and Modern in Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 23 Euro 27. Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31351-0, Raja, Rajendran. Nuclear Weapons Testing and Development in Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 253 Euro 254. Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31352-9. Sankar, U. 2007. The Economics of India's Space Program, Oxford University Press, New Delhi. ISBN 978-0-19-568345-5. Sharma. Shailendra D. 2006. Biotechnology Revolution in Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 154 Euro 157. Thompson Gale. ISBN 0-684-31350-2. Sharma, Shailendra D. Globalization in Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 146 a Euro 149. Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31351-0. Schwarzberg, Joseph E. India. Encyclopedia Britannica. Vrat. Prem. Indian Institutes of Technology and Encyclopedia of India, edited by Stanley Wolpert 229 Euro 231. Thompson Gale, ISBN 0-684-31351-0, Wolpert, Stanley. India. Encyclopedia Britannica. External links, Innovation Demands Freedom, System Defeat Scientist Return, India. Science and Technology. U.S. Library of Congress. Indian National Science Academy. Pursuit and Promotion of Science, The Indian Experience. Indian National Science Academy. Geek Nation, How Indian Science is Taking Over the World by Angela Saini, Special Report, Physics in India, Matin Dharani, Physics World, 2012.